my eighth and final creatable world set coming up after this. All right, here we have set number eight. That is the last one. It took so long for me to find this one. This one was not showing up in Canada on Amazon, which is where I got them. I got them different places, I think. But recently it has shown up on Amazon after I found it. But luckily I found it at an off price, a TJ Maxx store. And I'm so happy. Winners or Marshalls here in Canada, whatever it was but I am very glad to see this one on the shelf. It came at a discounted price. I didn't have to pay the regular $40 what they cost here. I really love these Creatable World. This set might be the best one because of all of the awesome pieces. I would totally wear a white hat. For sure I would wear a white cap. Um, khaki pants, elastic waist, really comfortable, great natural neutral color, really cool retro -y patterned shirt, a jean jacket, a really cozy sweatshirt, even though it's kind of hipstery ish, it still looks cozy and nice. Overalls in plaid, that's the wig. Converse, love those. These boots, love those. I don't think I'd wear these jelly sandals, but I do like horn rim glasses in a tortoise shell. And I love tie-dye. I'm just gonna open it up. I'm opening it up. Here's what the back of the box looks like. This is the new packaging. The second two came in this packaging. I think they reissued the other six in this packaging as well. It's better. You don't get the poster like you did with the first six. There's all of these other sets that we don't see. The single packed fashions. There's three of them as far as I know and they were available at Walmart for a bit, but they're sold out now. And none of this other stuff I've seen, I think most of it is available at Target. Here's what the new box looks like on the side. So happy to find that in the store. Again, at a discounted price. Okay, oh, oh the wig. Right, the wigs are kind of a write-off. The dolls are cute. I make mine all boys. This is going to be great for my second set. The first six I turned into a band, and the second two I think I'm going to turn into a competing duo group, and he has a nice Elvis swirl. I call him a he because that is what I'm going to make mine. You can make these anything you want them to. This wig is working out well. The dark hair seems to do that. That curl does help with making it looked like there's a headband in the hair, and it looks long. No boy have I decided to give long hair. Uh, this is definitely the best looking hair. Well, at least what I remember now. I think they want you to put it on something like this. The lighting and everything is making it look presentable. I don't think children care as much as adult collectors do. They either come in black underwear, pajamas, undergarments, or white. Maybe they should have split it up. Maybe they just should have black and white. Uh, I like these. These are really super versatile. A nice added bonus to the outfit. I don't know how well this black shirt would go with this skirt though. All of these things are lighter in this package so maybe he, I'm calling him he, but I am going to try everything on. This is what he looks like. He has a head that goes in all directions. Arms go outwards in all directions. Elbows go all directions too. Wrists go all directions. These are ball joints or ball-like joints. Hips are ball joints, I think. All directions. Knees swivel and bend. Twisting and bending at the ankle too. So much articulation. Same shaped body as Skipper, not exactly the same, but so similar that it is definitely worth rebodying if that's what you want to do. Let's get dressing. You're not going to keep the underwear on. Elastic, black, stretchy, nice cotton, super basics. Love it. There's Velcro on the back of the tank top. Let's start with the overalls constructed like this. Look, they're so nice. There's a cuff at the bottom. We're gonna like putting those on 
by themselves. Oh, there is Velcro on one side. That's really cool. If you poke down there, you can see his butt crack. But nice fit, cute. He can do some farm work in these. They're plaid, it's weird green plaid. I don't know how I feel about that. I would have liked them in a more basic, but it is also cute to have these colors and especially because they do match some of the other things. Is there anything I can try putting on? I'm gonna mix some patterns right off the bat. Let's put on this shirt. Nice metal buttons. Velcro's down the front. I love that in the shirt. It just makes more sense when it is a button down. It's constructed so nicely. Look at that. It goes on looking perfect. It looks really nice with his hairdo, I think. So that might actually be his outfit that he wears for his band. I mean, the shirt he would wear. I don't think there's a pair of pants that are rock and roll enough for him. The hair has been gelled a bit. It's flexible and I think it would come out. I just don't want to lose that curl, but I probably will fix it up a bit. Mixing the patterns looks like that. That's super cute. Gotta love that. Here we may as well layer and I'll put on his denim jacket. Oh, let me show you what that looks like. Really nice 50s denim jacket. Loving it. I also love that there's no little tea ties, tabs, little plastic fasteners holding anything in. It's just all put in the tray. I don't know if I agree with this outfit, but it actually looks cute. I'm gonna put on this skirt, but first I have to show it to you. I forgot the Velcro's in the back. I like that print. I like the uh, painted bright colors from the series. It looks like this is the most 80s colory poppy piece from this set. It's uh, an interesting look. I would not choose to put those together. Probably the shirt would look better untucked with this skirt. Yeah, it's kind of a wholesome look if that's what you're going for. I really do want to try this sweatshirt on over the shirt so you can see the color. Unfortunately, only Velcro's up a little bit up the back. That's gonna make dressing the guy a little difficult. I think you have to step into this. The bottom of it won't fit over his head and I have to take off the skirt first. I really love a cozy sweatshirt. I do not want to think about any sweatshirts though right now because it has been such a hot summer. It's been in the 40s in Canada, which is in Fahrenheit. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's around the 100 mark, so that's hot. Hot, hot, hot. And that is what he's looking like. He should have some pants on though. I want to see the red, blue, and yellow together. Those are primary colors of that I like. Matches very nicely with my shirt. Cute, 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 cute. Let's try on the khaki pants. I hope I have a pair of jeans in this denim color so we can double denim. We call that a Canadian tuxedo, or some people call it a Canadian tuxedo. I just call it uniforming and think it's quite stylish. Now that we have his pants on, we will also try on the different shoes. The khakis are very modern because they have elastic bottoms. So they're kind of like a sweatpant khaki. They also have semi-functioning pockets. Oh, they're really deep. They go all the way in. Maybe they go all the way down his pant legs. That is super duper cute. Look at that outfit. The little ribbon tie here, which is faux. It's just sewn in there. Great detail. I love an elastic pant. There's no Velcro or anything. It looks really neat and tidy. I also love the elastic trim on the back of this sweatshirt. I guess that makes it all worth the effort to put it on. It just is so tidy and nice at the bottom. Cute, cute, cute outfit. Let's finish it off with a pair of... I'm saying the Converse would look best with this because of that white strap and the little white in his shirt. And then we also bring in some red. I'm not sure if there's a left and a right. No, I think they're the same. And look at that. Look at how cute. Let's even put on another layer. It comes with three pairs of shoes. That always freaks me out. That's very generous. Two shoes would have been totally fine, like something that was 
more feminine and something that was more masculine. They give three. I wanted to get the cuff of this sweatshirt out, but I didn't. Look at this. Layers just makes it look so expensive. These are such great value because the quality of the clothing is so nice. And that is also a functioning pocket in that denim jacket right at the top there. I don't know if I can angle his arm to get his hand in it. Man, he's cool. He's 50s cool. And speaking of 50s cool, let's bring out the horn rims. This is pretty awesome that we can put so many of the pieces on at the same time. There he is with his big round horn rim glasses. Now he's a scholarly, cute, 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 holy. And it's not over yet. We can even put on his little hat and it's adjustable because that way he can have it on with the wig, but he can also put it on like so. I like that it's white too. You can even make it tighter. It's such a nice rubbery rubber. So I'm gonna put both pegs through both holes and then put it on. Cute, 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 adorable cuteness. Let me switch it up. That's more of a scholarly at school look, but we're gonna take it down to a dressed up rock star look by taking off the sweatshirt, untucking the shirt. Oh man, it would have been nice to see those tails poking down through the sweatshirt. Why did I not do that? Putting on these boots and looking real cool like that. I like that look, nice. Really nice boots. Check out those boots. Those are beauties. They do not fit on Ken dolls. The feet are very, very small. Yeah, I'll put on the denim jacket. It's nice because the stitching kind of matches the khaki. It's a nice western now. He's a cowboy. Cute, cute, cute. And uh, let's turn him into a girl and make him a summer look with the last pair of shoes. I want to see what he would look like with a sarong on. Look, he's got a tattoo on his bum. Kind of looks like poo. And then I'll put on these sandals and you can judge what you think of those. I mean, I love uh, translucent anything. I think you call sandals like this jelly sandals because they look like jelly candies. Because they look like jelly. They are clashing because they're orange. Orange and pink. That was a weird choice for them to put in, but I don't mind a clash, especially in something like this. What do you think of this outfit? Is he pulling off this sarong? Let's see, what kind of shirt can we put on with this? Let me put the black shirt on, even though I think he would look better in white. And I'll give him the hair again. And I'll give her the hair again. So you can see what she would look like if she was a little cutie like this. I think that they look very much like boys, but I think she might come off the most like a girl. It must be the hair. I'm having problems putting the glasses on the wig. Now that is really cute. Super cute. I like the clashing orange and pink. Adorable. I hope you like this doll. I think it came with most of the coolest clothing. Uh, let me know if you want to see an overview of my whole rock band. I don't know if I did a video. I must have. Probably in my last video I would have shown all of the rockers, but I'll probably have to do an update on that. So like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. I wonder what is my favorite piece of clothing. Man, everything is nice. This is probably the most versatile, useful set. Glasses, I love. Black t-shirt, of course, I love. Um, this shirt. There's a lot of um, these shirts with really nice retro -y patterns. I love this shirt a lot. I'd probably have to say that it's my favorite. But I also love this denim jacket, and I love a cozy sweatshirt. I don't really wear khaki pants myself, but these are really nice, and it's like a natural cotton, an unbleached denim. Yeah, so I, I do like those too, and I love these boots, totally something I would wear, and I love high-top Converse, totally something I 
love wearing. The overalls are a bit crazy because they're shorts and they're plaid and they're green. But it's cute. It's all so super cute. 